All right, for this lesson, we are gonna be looking at dividing fractions. So first off, we need to know what the term reciprocal means. So a reciprocal is when you have two numbers that have a product of one. So that means when we multiply them together, we get a product of one. So like here, four times five is 20, five times four is 20. And if we did 20 divided by 20, we'd get one. And what you'll notice about these reciprocals is that they're kind of opposites. Four out of over five, if you flip it around, becomes five over four. So if we're looking at these examples here, two over five, the reciprocal of that, if we flip that around, would be five over two. For this one, I'm first gonna write the incorrect reciprocal. So a lot of times people will be like, oh, well, I just flip around the fraction part. So it's gonna become two and six over one. That is incorrect. So the actual thing that we need to do first, thinking back to previous lessons, is turn this into a mix or an improper fraction first. So we do two times six is 12. 12 plus one is 13 over six. We're not done yet. That was just making it into an improper fraction. Now we have the two numbers that we can flip. Six goes on top, 13 goes on the bottom. And then this last example here, right now seven's not a fraction, so we can't really flip it around. So I need to write seven as a fraction by writing it as seven over one. Now we can flip it around to one over seven. So this skill is gonna be really important with dividing fractions, which is why we practiced it on its own first. So the steps to dividing fractions and mixed numbers. First step is we need to convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. That is really important, we have to do that first before we go into rewriting. When we rewrite it, as we discovered, as we were kind of playing around with division of fractions, we need to keep the first number the same, switch the operation from division to multiplication, and flip the second number to its reciprocal, or keep it, switch it, flip it. And you're gonna see me writing this as K, S, F, as we're doing the problems. And then we simplify the numbers that are diagonal from each other by dividing them both by the GCF. So if you don't already have your factor chart out with you, get that out. Then we will multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. All right, for this first problem, First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert them into improper fractions if I need to. These are, are already both just fractions, so I'm skipping that first step and going straight to keeping it, switching it, flipping it. So I'm keeping my first number, 21 over 25. I'm switching it from division to multiplication. I am flipping it from six over 15 to 15 over six. Now I'm going to get out my highlighters to look at my diagonal. So I've got my first diagonal and I've got my second diagonal. And here is where our factor chart is going to come in handy because we want to simplify these. So I'm getting out my factor chart in my resource packet here. I'm going to set up a blank fraction and we are going to divide all of these numbers. So let's look at this first diagonal of 25 and 15. We are gonna divide them both by their GCF. So I'm looking at my factor chart. I'm looking at 15 and 25, and the highest number that they both divide by is five. Using my factor chart, 25 divided by five is five. So in that same spot in the fraction, I'm writing the number five. And 15 divided by five is three. So in the same spot, the top right, I'm writing three. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our other diagonal. We're gonna see 
the highest number they both divide by, that GCF. So I'm finding 21 and 6. The highest number that 21 and 6 both divide by is 3. When we are simplifying on here, so if I go to 21 divided by 3, it's paired up with 7. So that means 21 divided by 3 is 7. And writing that in the same spot on the fraction. And here, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So now we've simplified. Now I'm just multiplying across for my answer. 7 times 3 is 21. 5 times 2 is 10. And that is our simplified answer. If you want to and are good at practicing how to turn that into a mixed number, you could turn that into the mixed number of 2 and 1 tenth, but you do not have to. Number two, first step is turning them into improper fractions if we need to. The first one's just a fraction, so I don't need to do anything. 18, though, is a whole number, so I need to turn it into a fraction by writing it over one. Now I can keep it, switch it, flip it. Keep the first number, four over seven. Switch the operation from division to multiplication. Flip the number from 18 over 1 to 1 over 18. And then I'm highlighting my diagonals so I remember what to look at when I'm simplifying. So a reminder, when I'm simplifying, I'm looking for the GCF of the diagonals. So first, let's look at this pink diagonal, 7 and 1. Maybe you know it by just looking at it. If not, looking on our factor chart, the only thing they're both going to divide by is 1. So when I'm setting up my blank fractions, on the bottom left, 7 divided by 1 is just 7. On the top right, 1 divided by 1 is just 1. Now we're doing the same thing with our other diagonal. We're going to see what their GCF is, what the highest number they both divide by. So 4 and 18... The highest number they both divide by is 2. Again, showing you how to use your factor chart to divide. 18 divided by 2, it pairs with 9. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. 4 divided by 2, sometimes that mixes people up. But 4 divided by 2, there's no number with that. That's because 2 times itself times 2 gives you 4. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now that we've simplified, I can multiply across. 2 times 1 is 2. 7 times 9 is 63. Okay, the next two that we're going to look at are mixed numbers, not just fractions. So we do have to really do that first step of converting to improper fractions to make it just a fraction, not have a whole number with it. So I'm multiplying. 1 times 12 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13 over 12. Sometimes people like to skip and do multiple steps in once, but that's where it's very easy to make mistakes. So I'm not going to try and write this into multiplication and flip right away. I'm just going to continue to write it as division. All I'm doing is changing the number. 1 times 20 is 20. 20 plus 6 is 26 over our original denominator of 20. Now I can go back and keep it, switch it, flip it. So keep it as 13 over 12. Switch it from division to multiplication. Flip it from 26 over 20 to 20 over 26. Now I'm highlighting my diagonals because we need to simplify. So we're going to see what our both, both these diagonals divide by. So let's look at that pink one first. 12 and 20, I find 12, I find 20 up here. The highest number they both divide by is 4. So I'm going to set up my blank fraction. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So in that top right of the fraction, I'm writing 5. 
on the bottom left, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now let's look at our other diagonal, 13 and 26. A lot of times people look at this and they're like, well, 13's prime. It's not going to divide by anything. Their GCF is 1. Well, that's close to being true. 13 divides by 1 and 13. 26 also divides by 13. So the GCF is actually 13. So on the top here, 13 divided by 13 is 1. On the bottom, 26 divided by 13 is 2. And now I can multiply across. 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 2 is 6. All right, and last one. Again, we have mixed numbers. I first need to make them improper. 7 times 9 is 63. 63 plus 7 is 70 over that original denominator of 9. Again, I'm not trying to skip steps, so I'm still writing the division sign. All I'm doing is just rewriting these numbers. 5 times 9 is 45. 45 plus 4 is 49 over 9. Now that I've rewritten them, we can keep it, switch it, flip it. So keeping my first number as 70 over 9, switching my operation from division to multiplication, flipping my number from 49 over 9 to 9 over 49. Now let's highlight th these diagonals so we can simplify. Let's look at this pink diagonal first. Well, we have the same exact number, 9 and 9. So it's not that they both divide by 1. If they're the same exact number, they will eliminate each other. They both divide by themselves. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 9 divided by 9 is 1. So they cancel each other out to just 1. Our other diagonal, 70 and 49, again, people look at that and they think, oh, it doesn't simplify by anything. Well, let's look. We've got 49 over here divides by 1, 7, and 49. And then if I look at 70 up here, they both divide by 1, they both divide by 7. So 7 is going to be their GCF. 70 divided by 7 is 10. 49 divided by 7 is 7. Now I can multiply across. 10 times 1 is 10 over 1 times 7 is 7. I'm okay with you leaving your, num your answer as an improper fraction. If you want to write that as a mixed number, that is 1 and 3 sevenths. And that's it.